Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today is my 33 week pregnancy update with this rainbow girl. I'm so excited that we got this far already and let's jump right into the video. This week I have noticed that my Braxton Hicks contractions got so much more regular. Before I had them a day and then two weeks of nothing and then they came again and then like a week of nothing and then I had them again but this week I had them every single day mostly in the afternoon or nighttime and usually it's like two to three contractions and then it stops and they're not painful they're just like you can totally tell when your tummy gets super tight and then it releases again and then it gets super tight again. When I'm doing something, like when I'm cleaning the kitchen or I don't know, cooking or something, and then I have them, then they can get pretty uncomfortable sometimes. But if I'm laying down or sitting down, totally fine. It's just weird that they're now coming every day. So my body is preparing for labor and that is so exciting. I can't believe that we are this far along already and that my body is obviously preparing for labor and yeah that just gets me so excited of course with that comes I'm so far in my pregnancy now that I have so much fatigue all the time I have to take lots of lots of breaks in between my tasks that I'm doing every day and my little one is so far up into my ribs so that breathing you can tell breathing is so hard for me now and the only way to have relief from that is if I lay down on my side because then um, she moves down a little bit and then I can breathe more easily. But when I'm sitting up or standing up, I can feel her really f high up in my ribs and I'm really short when it comes to my breath. As I mentioned in the previous video, I can tell or I know which position my baby is in and she is head down all the time now she's been head down all week and her bum is like, like her bum is in my ribs on the right side all the time I can feel her really low with her head though uh, so low that one day I actually had lightning crotch and it hurt so bad like I was I was getting up did two steps to go to the, I, was it to the bathroom I don't even remember but this sharp shooting pain down there. Holy moly, that hurt. <laughs> I was like, oh my goodness, this is what it feels like. And we don't have a real German word for it. I just know the English word for that, but holy cow, that was painful. I only had it once, but I felt her down there and I was like, oh gosh, she is down with her head. She's pushing on my cervix. I can totally feel that. And it was really painful, but I only had that this one time, which is good because it was really uncomfortable. On Saturday, I actually woke up with no backup. On Friday, we had really hot weather. We had 27 degrees Celsius here. It was sunny, it was hot, it was humid outside, which is okay. I don't mind that weather, and I'm doing fine doing that weather, but... That night we had a thunderstorm and then the next morning when I woke up it was rainy, grey outside and just a yucky air, it was really humid and 10 degrees. 10 degrees Celsius the next day from 27, like what? I could totally tell. When I was young in my teenage years I sometimes got so sensitive um, when the weather changed so suddenly that I had migraines. Um, they totally went away after I came out of puberty and everything. They were gone, never had it since. But now in the pregnancy, that was the first time that I woke up and my vision was so blurry. I could not see, I could not focus on anything. I Like, especially on my left eye, I was seeing like little triangles everywhere and I couldn't focus on any, anything. I couldn't even like cut my, my bread or put anything on my bread for breakfast. And I, I was like, tell my husband, you have to make my breakfast. I can't do it. I cannot see what I'm doing. And But I didn't have a headache yet. So that day we actually planned to go to one, go um, shopping for 
furniture in like big furniture stores where they have decorations and everything for the nursery so we were planning for that all week and then I felt so bad that morning and he was like do you want to stay at home and I'm like no I was so stubborn I wanted to go because we had been planning for this all week so it was like no we are going and this is like a 30 40 minute drive to get there um, and we did we started going I couldn't see much because of my vision and then on the way there we live in the mountains now and when I was a kid every time we would drive in the mountains the roads go like this all the time and up and down and it's super curvy everywhere and it got really car sick later on that totally went away but during this pregnancy I am getting so car sick here and we were on the way there and I felt so sick to my stomach and I was like, okay, I might have to ask you to pull over soon because I was feeling something coming. And he's like, well, do you want to turn around and go back home? I was like, no, we are going today. I want to get stuff done for the bedroom and get stuff for the nursery. We are going. So, and then we finally made it there. I did not throw up. Um, as soon as we got out of the car, I felt so much better. I still had vision problems. I was like, okay, we will just take it really easy, really slow. And I have to sit down every like five minutes in the furniture store, but I don't mind. <laughs> I'm pregnant. I can do that. So that's what I did. I was, every time I felt kind of weird, I was sitting down. So we went through that one store. That was fine. Then we went to a second one that was across the street. And this one had actually four levels. It was, it's a huge, huge store. We went to the, we went ground level and then the first level up and then I was just like feeling it that my headache was coming in right here and I was like okay maybe we should not do the other two floors and just head home because I'm not feeling well and we've, we've got some stuff now to decorate so I'm fine we can always come back later but as for now I just really need to go to bed. So that's what we did. We started driving home. Again, I got so car sick. It's just like, oh, my stomach feels awful. I just want to get home. I'm so sick. And we finally made it home. And I was just laying down in bed. My husband made me some lunch, lunch, dinner, dinner, whatever, um, because it was in the afternoon. And I was eating it in bed. And as soon as I finished, I laid down and I fell asleep immediately. I was so tired and I was feeling so awful. And I slept for an hour and a half, woke up, and I was feeling a little bit better. Um, but I was like, ugh, I'm just going to stay in bed, go to sleep really early tonight, and hopefully get better tomorrow. And so I fell asleep at like 9 p.m. that night. Slept the whole night through till the next morning, and I felt much better the next day. The weather was still kind of yucky and gross and cold, but I was feeling much better. My headache was gone. My vision was better and totally back to normal, <laughs> to the pregnant normal, I guess. <laughs> I did notice, of course, that I'm, in general, super fatigued due to the pregnancy and short of breath and that all. I need more breaks in between tasks that I'm doing every day and, oh yeah, and because she is so low down there, I noticed that she's, her head is totally pressing onto my bladder, which means that I have to pee way more than before and every time I take too long to go to the bathroom and my bladder is too full when I need to go it hurts like because her head is pressing so much on the bladder and then when I try to release it it's it's really painful so I always try to go more often so that it doesn't get too full and then it doesn't get painful at night it's sometimes you know when you sleep and you wake up because you have to really go then it's often too late and it is painful when I go we <laughs> so uh, yeah that started right now as well but for me that's great news that means uh, she's been head down all week and I'm really grateful for that because that's the best position for her to be in for birth uh, so I'm really happy about that especially because we don't know how many weeks we have left um, I'm 33 weeks now she could come in four weeks she could come in 10 weeks it I don't know um, most uh, most pregnancy myth that people tell me was like oh you're like the first time mom your first time giving birth so you will probably go overdue like most first-time moms 
the people around me did not go over that were first time moms. My sister had her baby um, over three weeks early. He was born at um, 36 weeks and five days. A boy last year in December. But yeah, no complications. He just came early. Um, he was healthy, he was fine. Then today, my friend who is also pregnant with a girl, first time mom, she was supposed to have the baby mid-July, so in about two weeks, and she told me her water broke. So she is in labor and having her girl at 38 weeks, maybe one day, maybe two, depending on when the baby gets here. So she is also having the baby early, and she that baby is a girl. Sometimes people tell me, oh, when you get a girl, girls stay in longer because they're making themselves pretty for mommy and daddy. That's something else people have been telling me, that girls always like to stay in longer. Like I said, she's having a girl first time mom, and she's having the baby now, so that also doesn't always apply. And so I'm just really curious to see when our girl will make her way into the world and when we will have the chance to finally hold her in our arms and experience all that. I'm just so excited, so looking forward to it. We started preparing for it. We have almost everything ready in case she does get here early that we are prepared for her um, when it comes to postpartum stuff and like I will wash her laundry next week so that the laundry is done. I've washed her cloth diapers. They're ready to go. So we're getting ready for her just in case she gets here a little bit earlier. But we are so excited and we can't wait to finally meet her. It's just so getting more and more exciting every week. So yeah. That's where I will end this video for today. Um, and in the end you will see my bump of the week as always and thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!